Welcome back to The Morning Show on XL7 TV. It's time for This Week in Real Estate with Bob Zadora. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I'm great. Great. Weather's good. It's it's an actual spring. That's a that's a good thing. It's this stuff of going from like winter to summer in a week is not a good And I'm just transition. glad the rains have held off for a while. Yeah. It's guys time. can get caught up with the grass and get stuff. Get started. Well. I haven't started a whole lot. No? No. It's this week. The rest of this weekend is going to be... Hadeus Corpus. Well, you should go kind of slow anyway. I, I am that. Yes, I am that. Hey, uh, we want to talk to you this morning about what it means to be a realtor in Mountain Home. Ah, well, being a realtor here in God's country is um, different than I didn't know anything about real estate before we came here. Uh, Linda was here. In fact, it's, it'll be 20 years. Uh, October, middle of October, that she moved down here. Uh, and when I got here, I didn't know anything about real estate. She had started to do something else when she came down that wasn't going to work out. She says, I'm going to get my real estate license. And I told her, I says, honey, you're 552 miles away, which is how far I was door to door. I said, you're 552 miles away. I said, do what you got, you know, whatever you want to do, do. So she did. She went to school, got a license. Uh, Wayne Camp was still holding classes then. And, and the value of going to school and not, not getting your license through this, there's no comparison. Um, so she got her license. We, she started over at Mountain Home of Real Estate. I got down here in, at the end of the sports season because I told the Wurzers that I'd stay until we were done. And so got everything done, got all my jobs spread out to everybody got down here started doing projects and she says you've got to find something to do she says why don't you get your license and maybe you know let's do what we can do okay studied got my license uh, so I'm about a year behind her uh, we uh, started off you know we, we didn't know anybody here Mm -hmm. I mean, it turns out that I did know two people here, but um, that was it. And we had, um, I started making the rounds at the chamber events and any kind of place I could go and put my hand out in front of people, that was what we started to do. And we got a couple, couple listings and they went well and then word of mouth is, you know, priceless. And that was really people said, oh, they're new, but they they're enthusiastic, and they did all the things they were supposed to do, and we went from there. I mean, we got our broker's licenses um, through some, and we ended up over at Century 21, and that was a, a great, the best thing that could happen to us. You know, the brand name and the, the support that Jewel has, and the office, the whole, just the whole feeling over there was we're very comfortable over there and um, we've helped a lot of people and it just it grew every year off the top of your head do you have any idea how many numbers there are as far as realtors in the MLS for this area probably about 210 I think right now it had been a little higher uh, there's some that didn't renew their license in January um, just realized that it, some just realized that it's not really for them um, it's you know it's a little a little more to it than watching a couple episodes of HGTV and, you know, pick one of these three houses. For a while, the market was like that, and then the market isn't like that now. Mm -hmm. And um, both both the number of homes that are available and the price points and the pe what people can afford because of the interest rates, there's a, it's a little more complicated than they, than they realize. You know, being, a, being on top of the inspections, being on top of the appraisals, making sure that the loans where the paperwork is with that, that the closing company knows what's going on. There's a lot of moving parts to all of this. And we're blessed being here, go back to the initial, because the realtors here, nobody's here is cutting anybody's throat. You know, everybody gets along. There may be little conflicts here and there, but you talk to people that are out like in Fayetteville and out in that area out there. Man, don't sleep. You better sleep with one eye open because they're out trying to get what's yours and uh really don't have that here you know you, you you know who who you can work with well all the time you know who um there might be some issues with it you got to make sure that you keep the ball moving mm -hmm. um and that's a big part of it but we had a uh 
a great event. North Central Board of Realtors had their awards um, banquet. I'll call it banquet for lack of a better term. It um, wraps on Monday night. And uh, we thanks to Chris Nassari who picked up the bar tab. And um, Arv Arvis Bank, I think Arvis Bank picked up the food. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. It may have been Ann Stell. Ann Staff. Yeah. Ann Staff. Um, I missed that part because there was noise going on when they were announcing that. Uh, but we had, oh, I don't know, we probably had 75 realtors there who were awarded different uh, uh, different awards for produ production. Different levels of which ex excellence. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, everybody shakes everybody's hands. Everybody congratulates everybody. You know, you're happy for the guys that, and girls that do well, you know, you, and you try to bring some of the kids up. Um, and they're all kids to me, but they're, you know, to bring the kids up, the new guys up. Because there were a lot of people there. I didn't know half the people there. I've been doing this for a while. And that's why I told Jewel, I says, I think I'm getting old. Because we don't have, we used to have what they had, the, the tour. We would take the tour. There mm -hmm. were like seven tours that you would go on. And you would go to the MLS office. You'd have a little meeting. You'd caravan from house to house and see many, the homes that were available, yeah. you know? And, but the, the great thing with those were, you met the other agents. You met the agents from other companies. You found out what was going on over there. You shared with them things that you, oh, I had this guy and he did this, or, you know, and you laugh and chuckle. Uh, and you would see the houses. That was a great concept that we had. Mm -hmm. um, some think that it's easier to do it this way than that way. I'm, I didn't agree with that, but that's, you know, right. I was, I was one of the tour guides and I mean, it was my time going out and running the routes for the houses, seeing how they looked and okay, we got to make sure that when you're parking here, if you get eight cars in the caravan, you got to have room and logistical things like that. You know, one thing that I could, that sets you apart from a lot of the other real realtors and the real estate agents in this area is your community involvement and i want to publicly say thank you for being the sole sponsor this year for the remaining lady bomber softball games that are on xl7 and xl7 sports on facebook and youtube we appreciate you doing that thank you but that's not where it start or where it stops uh, you've been involved in supporting advertising through football with us and basketball with us and to me that's a big deal but you're also involved in the chamber, you're involved in the Republican Club, you're involved in the different community events and things that go on. How much does that involvement have to do with your, your love of selling real estate? Well, it allows us, because of the real estate, that's what allows us to get involved in the things we get involved in. Uh, the Twin Lakes Retired Police Scholarship Foundation. There, there's a, a litany of things that we, that we are involved in. And, and it's mostly because of that. If we were working in a shop someplace, I don't, I don't know that that would be uh, we there for us. Mm -hmm. uh, doing the TV, doing the radio, being able to do this, and getting the message of real estate out to people every week. Uh, that's, that's a big part of my mission and, and has been. You know, mm -hmm. We want good, well-informed people making good, intelligent decisions about a life-changing procedure. So uh, the real estate has helped us in ways that we never dreamt. You know, we say our grace on Sundays when we're sitting up there overlooking the, the river and we get together for dinner and like for Easter. And that's like what we start with, you know, for us being here and the things that we've been able to do because we're here has been just, you know, godsend. Mm -hmm. It has been. You know, we probably ought to look at some numbers. We could do that. <laughs> and it even stayed up. Look at that. This week in real estate, there were 44 new listings came on the market, six commercial properties, 20 parcels of land, 18 homes came on the market. It ranged in price from 65000 to a million. Four of those 18 are taken back up. So the market's still busy. Stuff that's properly priced and properly uh, ready to go, prepared, will still go. And, and price points got a lot to do with it because people will come in. They've sold their house someplace else. There's still people living in RVs that are looking for a home. Mm -hmm. So, But it's not a lot of homes coming on the market. There were 26 sales, uh, nine parcels of land, 17 homes sold. They ranged in price from 32000 to 540000 The average sale price this week was 180 with 90 days on market. Uh, so we did about $3 million in residential real estate close this past week. 
27 properties expired, uh, 13 had price changes, and there's still 83 waiting to close. Currently, we're at uh, 207 homes, which is the same as we had last week. Year to date, for 2023, there's been 230 homes have sold for $50 million. The average sale price of 218 with 93 days on market. Uh, last year, there had been 313 homes that sold for $69 million. So that's 83 more homes sold last year than this year. Uh, the market was still busy at the beginning of the year last year. Uh, and this year, we're slowing down faster than mm -hmm. we did last year. And, and that's really got a lot to do with it. Um, not as many homes being on the market to sell. Uh, the prices, people coming in are not buyers, not, and it's a nationwide thing. I mean, they're not willing to spend as much money. They're not coming in. You're not getting putting a house up and getting six offers on it, some of them with no inspections and things like that. You're not seeing that because they don't have to. And with the interest rates, it's pushed the prices up. So when, when you were getting that higher, when, you're, when we went up 20%, now with the interest rates up, it eats up a lot of that 20%. I mean, mm -hmm. the numbers where you say, well, it only went up 3%, but 3% of, of a mortgage is a lot more money than the price going up 20%. And that's, that's really is trying to find that balance now of getting the prices where they need to be to compensate for the interest rates. And that's what the G wanted to do. It's what the G got. Uh, and people, we're seeing people not moving around just to move around as much. Uh, we're seeing people that, Life goes on, moves, as I call them, you know, where they, there's been a death in the family, there's a sickness, there's a grandchild that's born, there's a wedding, uh, you know, a new baby. Life events where you go, okay, well, we got to get out of this rental, we need to have a home when it's time for us to make our mark on the world. And that's the way you make your mark on the world. You're not, not in a rental, you make it by owning a home, and you start to build that equity, you start to build that pride of ownership, and what makes you stand out from your peers is that has a lot to do with that and that self-satisfaction of this mm -hmm. is mine mm -hmm. you know you go home at night put your feet up on the table and say yeah this is ours go out on the porch have a beer life is good what sets the z team apart from its peers the presidential i, awards, I think that the double yeah, diamonds the diamonds the this the I, that. yeah I, I think that the customer service that we provide there's agents that have sold more uh, properties than us is your fourth century 21 but didn't have the customer service and didn't get, they got pinnacle awards, but they didn't get the president's award, which is the highest award of, of the two. And then, because that is a combination of uh, sales, but it's, a pub, it's that service it's, that people get from you and they respond to. You know, and that's, that's part of it too, that they take the time to sit down and write, write a review. If you go on the website, if you go on retiredarkansas.net, 400 reviews, five-star reviews on there. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, that's a pretty big deal. And people respond, and then the word of mouth, you know, we come out, we do this, we advertise, we ask for your business. But the word of mouth and, and people saying, well, I know that guy, I know that girl, I know these people that they've, you know, they've done a good job, they sold the house down the street. Which brings me back to where we started. You're involved in the community. You have community involvement in different clubs and different mm -hmm. groups and different fraternals and this or that uh, people know you because they've seen you yes sir yes sir you gotta get out you know i used to tell my coppers get out and show them the flag let them know that you're out here and it's the same thing you know by going to the chamber meetings going to the all the different events that we can go to uh it's people coming oh hi 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 you bet yeah you know or i see, I see you on tv i hear you on the radio I, there is to be able to i go to the gun show i was at the gun show two weeks ago and had a booth set up. And I'm not going to sell anything there. I know that. But it's to get and say hi to people. It's a matter of being able to let people know that you're a good, right-thinking guy. Mm -hmm. And that, that can make a big difference. I've sat at a table, and a guy says, I know you're from somewhere. We started a chat, and it was a gun, shop, gun show. And he, oh, okay, fine. Call that other guy and tell him not to come. He tells his wife. There Thank you, you. That's what it's about. Yeah, Because yeah. they know me. They know that I'm a straight shooter. And I think that that makes a big difference. This has been This Week in Real Estate with Bob Zadora. The Z Team, Century 21 Lima Realty. Bob and Linda Zadora, give them a phone call at 870-405-0793 is their number. RetiredArkansas.net yes, is their website. Go there, click on MLS listings. I always like to say, and I do it every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, go check out the live views. They present them every morning. Yep. 
Bob and Linda Zadora, the Z Team. Give them a call. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with Friday Sports in just a moment.